all the other places. All right, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. We're the real Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in and week out, prophesying the downfall of this present evil world. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and salutations to all you Akim pushing this word in truth and sincerity. We're out here another week, all right, to uh, chant down. All right, this uh, 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 place called America, all right, AKA spiritual Babylon, all right, which is the will of the Father, man. All right, this is the message, all right, the, the, the word of God, Yahawashai, which leads to the kingdom of heaven, all right? And that's what it's all about. And um, I was just watching the brother's video, uh, the elder bro, uh, the elder bro, but and he had, uh, he had uh, did a, a lesson on this dude, uh, Amari Stoudemire, who was uh, getting on Kanye about something. And he was saying, man, something about being hope, all right? But here it is, this dude, Amari, Amari Stoudemire, not holy at all. See, it's one thing to know that you are a Hebrew Israelite, knowing that so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are the Hebrew Israelites. That's right. Well, that's just half the battle, all right? That's just half the battle. All right, because ultimately we got to worship the most high God in spirit and in truth. And he said that if you want to be saved from the wrath to come, well, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Now, that conversation is uh, the Greek word anastrophe, which means your conduct. All right, so how should your conduct be in all holy? that people throw out that word holy, all right, or the term being holy and have no clue what holy means. You got something real quick? Yeah, I got something. Yes, this sir. is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, and I'm going to start at 14, but the main point is in 17. It says, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness? <laughs> and what concord hath the anointed with Baal, or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of the Most High with idols? For ye are the temple of the living power, as the Most High Yahweh has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their power, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate. See, come out from among them. Come out from this present evil world, and the mindsets of this present evil world. Come out from among hope in this place. This is not the will of the Father that this place is gonna get better. That's right. All right? Where you have the power structure of the wicked. No, this is not gonna get better. Wickedness is gonna reach its height, and then <laughs> that's it. It's gonna get judged, and then the structure of the righteous is gonna be set up, which is the kingdom of heaven. So it says, what again? Read that with you just uh, last Second, read. Second Corinthians 6 and 17. Wherefore come out from among them and be ye separate. See, Se come out from among them. And because when you were among them, that's when we were defiled yeah. with the dead. Uh -huh. That's when our minds was corrupted when we was about this present easy world. But the Bible was telling us, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, which are the biblical Hebrew Israelites, it says, come from, uh, from among them and be ye separate. That is the very definition of holy. Yep. All right, separate, set apart. You see, you get some more? Yep. Go ahead. Say it the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. See, that's when you're going to be my sons and daughters. All right, when you're, because he said, hey, I am holy. The Lord said, I am holy. Therefore, be ye holy. Uh -huh. You see? And so, holy being separate, and I went into it in the lesson myself, uh, the most separate, all right, the most holy is the most high God. There's none like him. All right, and I got that Baruch, matter of fact. Let's get it. Uh, that Baruch, uh, uh, that Baruch three, and 
where it starts uh Verse 15. This is Baruch chapter 3 and verse 15. It says, Who have found out her place or who have come into her treasures? See, who have found out her place or who have come into her treasures? Somebody, real quick. Romans uh, 11 and 33. Romans 11 and 33. Uh huh. And it reads, Oh, the depths of riches, both of wisdom and knowledge of the Most High. See, the both of the depth of the riches of what? Uh, the riches, uh, like riches, both of the of the wisdom and knowledge of the Most High. You see, both of the riches and wisdom of the knowledge of the Most High God. Go ahead. Uh, <clears throat> how unsearchable are His judgments and His ways past finding out? See how unsearchable. All right, you can't search out the mind of the Most High God, man. All right, because the mind of what stems from the mind of the Most High God is wisdom, That's right. righteousness. That's right. All right, which wisdom and righteousness leads and equals immortality. Woo. No one has found out how to live forever. You see, no one has found out that righteous way. See, that way is separate from all other ways. That's right. All other ways leads to a downfall and death. All other ways they will don't happen. You see, only the will of the Father is happening. Uh -huh. Only the will of the Father and uh, righteousness of the Father equals immortality. That's why he is the most holy. But let's go back to that Baruch 3. You got something real quick? Um, no, you got something. All right, let's go back to that. You got something? What you got, brother? Get a chance. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I was going to say, like you say, uh, who knows his ways? His thoughts. Uh, Isaiah 55 and 8. Yep. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. That's right. Neither are your ways my ways. See? That's, said the Lord. See, that's why he is the most holy, the most separate, where there's none like him. None. Zero like him. Go ahead. It says, For as the heavens are higher than the earth, yeah. so are my ways yeah. higher than your ways. See? So are my ways higher. Superior, yes, better. That's right. All right. Uh, 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 my thoughts than your thoughts. See, so that's why he tell us to rend our heart. You know where our thoughts come from. All right. Don't lean to your own understanding. That's right. You know. No, we want to lean to the understanding that the Most High gave us from His mind, which is the righteousness of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, the wisdom of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. You get, brother. Again, Leviticus 20 and 26, and it reads, And ye shall be holy unto me, for I am the Lord, am holy, and I have severed you from other people. See, matter of fact, let's get that word severed. Seven. Let's get that word severed. Matter of fact, whoever get it first, I, I, might, I might beat you. Hold on, let's see. <laughs> hold on, hold on, let's see. Fast gun question. All right, let's see if I can I'll break down. So Leviticus 20 and 26. So uh, this is the uh, the Hebrew word for severed. It's uh, H914, badal, badal, which means to divide, separate, sever, set apart, to make a distinction, a difference, uh, to be separated, to be set apart, all right, that's good enough right there. All right, so read it again, brother. Uh, Leviticus, Leviticus, Leviticus 20 and 26, and it reads, And ye shall be holy unto me, for I am the Lord, Yahweh, am holy. Yeah. And have severed you from other people. See, I have severed you, you Israelites, all right, who are now known as so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But we are not Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We are the Hebrew Israelites from our respective tribes. Right. And he said that he has severed us, set us apart, divided us, all right? Made a distinction between us and the other nations. I mean, he's reading it. Read it one more again and then whatever you get, brother. Leviticus, Leviticus 20 and 26. 
and it reads, and ye shall be holy unto me, for I am the Lord Yahweh, am holy, and have severed you from other people, that ye should be mine. See? He said that, hey, and we should be holy. All right? We should be separate. Okay? Because he said he has severed you from other people, all right, these other nations, and their ways. Their heathenistic ways and mindsets, man, that leads again to a downfall and death. Because the, the ways of the people that he's talking about, the other people, all right, their ways equals unrighteousness. Now, like I always say, these heathen nations, they have diverse ways one from another, but where they're, you know, where they have the same thing is that it's just unrighteousness. Their way is darkness. Their way, they can't rule forever. They can't live forever and be immortals. All right? It's only the Israelites that was given that way to ultimately be immortal. That's right. right. Yes, sir. This is uh, De Deuteronomy chapter 4. I'm going to start at 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgment, even as the Lord Yahweh my power commanded me, that ye should do so in the land where ye go to possess it. Uh -huh. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom. Yeah. And so, like, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nation. Right. It says this is your wisdom and your understanding. You see, it's letting you know that now nah, we ain't talking about everybody. All right. We're talking about these specific people. Matter of fact, you you, you read that in the NLT? Oh, no, it's, uh, no. No, no. Why, uh, let me get it for you. <laughs> and, and, and you can you can go ahead and read. Huh? Same thing in the NLT. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 4 and uh, 5 in the NLT this time. I have taught you all the laws as the Lord Yahweh my power told me to do. Obey them in the land that ye are about to invade and occupy. <laughs> Obey them faithfully, and this will show the people of the other nations how wise ye are. <laughs> when, when they hear of all these laws, they will say, What wisdom and understanding this great Wait, nation. This, place, hey. now this nation just occupied it, invaded them, right? Oh man, you invaded me? Uh -huh. Occupied me and wow, how great y'all is! Right, this is amazing. <laughs> it just made me think though when the people are in ruler, yeah. the righteous are in rulership. Young yeah. people rejoice. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Go ahead. Verse seven. No other nation, no matter how great, has a God who is so near when they need Him as the Lord Yahweh our power is to us. He answers us whenever we call for help. No other nation, no matter how great, has lost. So just as those that I have taught you today. You see, no one has so, the law so just as he gave us. You see, the Israelites, before you get that other scripture, let's go back to that group because it just said the, the, uh, uh, no other nation, no matter how great, has laws so just as those that I have taught you today, you Israelites. All right, so we got a specific special, separate, holy way. That's what set me. Exactly. That's right. Holy. All right. So let's go back to that uh, verse 15, and then we're going to jump down. See, they're not like other people. Their ways are not our ways. That's right. Go ahead. This Baruch chapter 3 and verse 15. Read. It says, Who have found out her place, or who have come into her treasures, where are the princes of the heathen? Okay. Come? So it says, Who? Who have found that out? All right, well, no one has found that out but the Most High God. That's why, go jump down to, um, give me a second, uh, so jump down to, uh, Ah, 32. This Baruch 3 and verse 32. Uh -huh. But he that knoweth all things knoweth her, and have found her out with his understanding. See? But, but he that knoweth all things knoweth her. Talking about wisdom. All right? That leads to immortality. 
right? That's righteous. That's right. separate. That's holy. The only way that leads to immortality, right? So it says, but he that knoweth all things knoweth her and hath found out uh, with his understanding, man. So that's why he's most separate because nobody but the most high God has found out that way of immortality, of righteousness. And that's why he's the most separate, the most holy. And guess what? That way, jump down to verse 36. Verse 36, he have found out all the way of knowledge and have given it unto Jacob his servant and to Israel his beloved. See, he has given out, uh, given that separate way to the Israelites. Now, and, if I can, yeah. I was gonna land back to something y'all said earlier. Y'all were right. Uh, I'm sorry about uh, his thoughts and my thoughts and things and the truth. But once we come into this truth and accept the will of the Heavenly Father, he gives us him and his understanding. And then uh, subsequently later on, growing up in this faith, we have the mind of Hamashiach. We're the only group of people on the planet who can say that. Because we're following his way, his using his words, and learning his thoughts, learning his heart, learning his wishes. That's why Yahweh Shai said, why callest thou me Lord, Lord, and not do the things that I say? Right. So if you do fuck with me, I will, if, if any man should uh, 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 knock and hear my voice, I will open the door and sup with him and he with me. Right. All right. I just want to add that caveat because it's true. 99% of these people, especially Jake, out of Jake, um, the two thirds, they now have the mind of the Lord. 100% of the heathens have no fucking clue through. about the Lord. Through Duropolis. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Uh, this is that Psalms 147 and 19. He show up his word unto Jacob. That's right. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. See, he showeth his word unto Jacob. This is the same thing that Baruch just said. That way of knowledge he's given to the Israelites, man. And that is the way that make us holy. See, when we start delving into the mindsets of this world and wanting to be like these people and flourish with the world, now we become corrupt, man. All right? That's why he said, learn not the way of the heathen. You see? Because we have our own way. The heathen's way is unrighteous. All the heathen's ways is unrighteous. All right, we're the only ones that have a righteous way. So here it is, our people set aside the righteous way to go into these heathenistic ways. All right, why? Because those heathenistic ways got to flourish in this present evil world for a time. See, but let's go back. I'm not gonna finish it up. Uh, what Psalm 147 and 20 says, he has not dealt so with any other nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. See? So these other nations, they haven't known them. They only have an unrighteous way. You see? But the unrighteous way got to flourish. Uh, uh, the unrighteous way got to flourish tempor temporarily. You see? And when the righteous way get to flourish temporarily, that's when we go through our afflictions. That's when we go through the straight gate us the, the the righteous all right the israelites you see and it was all for our learning this right. is all a part of the word of the most high god and just like the brother red has just said i show he showed his word unto jacob his statutes and his judgments unto israel see that word that equals wisdom all right that wisdom equals righteousness that righteousness equals immortality man that's that way that was given to us all right to make us a separate holy people you see see but our people want to be of this world all right want to be of the mindsets of the heathen they want to flourish with the heathen and that's the, that's they, they uh like it says uh uh if our gospel be hid it is hid to them that are lost all right that are perishing you see because again these mindsets it leads to you perishing Bad chase of hypocrites, El. See? And, and, and here it is. The word of God lead us to dole out the bags. That's right. That's right. Not to chase a bag. You want to sit up here and chase a bag when if you follow the word of God in due time, you're going to be doling out the bags. That's right. That's right. All in.
in due time. Yeah, but you said you're chasing the bag, right? Right. Why am I chasing the bag? That's not what the bag all cracked up to be seen. Cause I'm chasing, if I'm chasing, if I'm chasing, if I'm chasing the bag, I'm chasing the dollar dollar bill, y'all. Right. If right. I'm chasing the dollar dollar bill, y'all, I'm chasing Federal Reserve notes. If I'm ch chasing Federal Reserve notes, I'm chasing. If when I say this man got his own money, when I say he got his own money, <laughs> baby, he got his own. He money. got his own money. You chasing that guy on that money. <laughs> All right, and that right there, if you go into the scriptures, is, is canker. He said, "Woe to you, rich man, because that 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 money is spoiled." And, and and then he said that people are gonna be throwing their gold and silver in the streets. So real money is not that bad. The fake money is not that bad. The actual money is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. This is the true riches. So which bag you want? You want a real bag of riches that's gonna be eternal, not temporal. Right. Or do right. you want that temporary bag that's really a hag in right. a bag? Yeah. yeah. Old nag hag in the bag. This is a uh, song of three holy children, uh, one and three. For thou art righteous in all the things that thou hast done to us. Yea, true are all thy works. Thy ways are right, and all thy judgments true. So whatever Yahweh Shemi Al Shai does, it's perfect. It's perfection. All right. No matter what it is. Okay. Unless our, you know, uh, simple minds. What does it say in the scriptures? Uh, I think in the Book of Psalms that uh, man in his best estate or his best state is all vanity. See, you know what? You know. You, that means you take the man who's the top, the strength, the dummy, in his best state. I don't give a fuck if he's knowledgeable. I don't give a fuck what he is. If he's not under the yoke of Yahweh Shemi Al Shai, it's all vanity. It's, yep. per, it's worthless. You know what I'm saying? You got these motherfuckers who, who get cut and have their muscles got muscles. And, all right? <laughs> their bank account got an extra bank account attached to it on the side and the Swiss underneath the underground that send gold drips to your goddamn house. I'm gonna fuck. If that if you don't have how about you got shot, it's all in vain. Race is not given to the Swiss. Or the strong. It's not given to like it's not given to the uh to, to the uh, Whoever this world considers wise, all right, is given actually to the face. You come looking over here to these men over here, they look like, oh man, this nigga got a record. This nigga, uh, he farting to sleep. This nigga got bad breath. This nigga, you know what I'm saying? We got nothing but flaws over here, all right? And we never acted like we, we perfect. Matter of fact, we come to the Lord saying how flawful which our righteousness is, our some filthy rags, all right? Uh, um, we come and said, uh, oh, we've all fallen short of the glory of God. All right? Um, anybody who think they know something don't know it as they ought to know. Ooh. This is how we come into the scriptures that we saying. Right. And we're still in the fight, still swinging and giving it our all, man. All right? Not just motherfuckers who say, man, you know what? Uh, these niggas ain't no good. I ain't no teacher no more. Nah, they, they, they sleep, they dead. It is not worth the time. Nigga, you ain't only fighting to wake up people. You fighting to redeem yourself, motherfucker. Who got the scripture? Proverbs chapter 3, verse 13. It says, Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than jewels, and all things that can, thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. <laughs> That's it, because that wisdom is going to exalt you. And it's going to bring all those things to you anyway. You know what I'm saying? But in a more superior, greater, grand fashion. Right, right, right. And eternal. And eternal. Right. Hey, because right now he said, uh, yeah, yeah. He, says, he said, eyes have not seen, ears not have heard of well, the mysteries, the gifts, and the wonderful things that I have in, in, in store for you. That's Laid it. up. That's it. This shit right here ain't got a layer of motherfucking dust on it. All right, we got we have wine that's new that he said he won't drink with us until we in the kingdom. Right. That means there's got to be a vineyard somewhere. All right, what if the Lord, I'm just saying what if, the same doctrine, don't, don't quote me on this, because I wouldn't disavow any knowledge. What if the Lord, out of the first vintage out seven, eight thousand years ago, when he said, let there be grapes, and we said, planted the grapes and the grapes grew, and it took, remember, two mighty men. 
to carry a bushel. One, one, one bush, one bush. Some talk about you know what I'm saying, like this, you know what I'm saying, two mighty men, right? right? So remember that. So they got, the, that's how big the grace. What if the Lord said, you know what? This is, this is the first vintage. I'm just gonna call this the first vintage. And we're gonna sit this on ice. You're gonna sit here proverbially and just hold this down. And you talk about reserve, refine, goddamn it, it's settled in, 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 in gloriousness. Thought about that? Uh-huh. It's better. Than you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. It's better than what you thought. It's better than, 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 than I, I did a lot of work thinking about it. You. <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> I did a lot of work thinking about it. Hey, well, sorry. That work wasn't bad. This is going to be better, better than, than that. that. Yes. He said, he said, he said, uh, 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 what do you think? Uh, uh, they said they are better then the midnight, the midnight time. Nobody, that's right. Oh, oh, the midnight time. They say they are. We just eat. No, but uh, but no, like he said, hey, it's better than the midnight time. Nobody ever heard that. 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 God yeah, and that's what the, the, the wisdom, all right, and knowledge from the mind of the Most High God, man, it just leads to ineffableness. Can't explain. Can't explain words. And so every word with ineffable means there's not enough words in the vocabulary to actually describe what it is. And so close and I can get to it is ineffable because it's too great for me. Yeah, man. You know, and so point is, you want to be holy and roll with the Most High God and separate from this world, man. Separate from the mindsets of this world, man. That's it. All the things in this mind, the world, is going to leave you to death. Hey, you got these women right now thinking they don't need a man. <laughs> right? But they ain't got shit. And everything that they do is built on a what? A male-dominated society. Yeah. Why? Because the men are not only physically stronger, all right? But we are mentally strong. We're not over emotional, except for those men who follow the feminine vibration. But guess what? The powers that be, even though they are like as women, you know, to a certain degree, they, they, you think they're going to give up their power seat to a woman? <laughs> Hell no. All right? So you're, you're fighting against nature. When you look at niggas in the world, thinking they can actually come up in the white man's world. Stupid. Sit digging for four five hundred years. Niggas have not come up collectively, but individually, depending on how far a motherfucker sold out. Exactly. All right? How and many weird things you did. Right. Now, oh, I think shit. about Devo. And from Friday, and, and they asked him, why did you do good in Hollywood? He said, they kept trying to make me wear a motherfucking dress. He said, I will not wear this motherfucking dress. Oh, but he did something. Oh, to the point he was. Yeah. yeah, but he had a, he threw the line, and when he threw the line, he said, oh, you can't come across oh, that's the line that he but you know what, I, 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 brother, there, there's different levels to that other side shit, oh, no, so I right. agree. Hey man, but he, If you took he, a little bit of that bag, you ain't coming to the truth, fuck you. Man, he, right? he was in a whole lot of movies, man. He was a millionaire, you know what I'm saying? So he he, he bent over, he, 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 he did something. He did something, I don't know what the yeah. fuck he did, but I agree, he did something. But the, the point is, he made a, a, a stand in his wickedness not to go so far in his wickedness. Which is still off because all these fucking. If the, what the scripture say? Isaiah the uh, 13th chapter. Any, uh, not 13, uh, you know which one it is, I quote the verse. When the Lord say, uh, to Isaiah, um, anyone who, uh, that's joined unto them, uh, shall be uh, thrust 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 All right? Once you, once, you, once you sign to take that bag, once you sign to go ahead and get that, that, uh, that fame, honor, and glory to host, because how Hollywood works, they'll let you come in the door and be a one hit wonder give you a taste, give you a, maybe a show or two. But after they see you got some fame and some glory, they're going to come to you and say, now what's up? And they, I, I, I was in Hollywood, and I was approached by the Masonic Order, and they told me, hey, if you want to move up, this is it. And this is, you know, I think it's about 05 or something of like 04, I believe. And I said to them, I said, I, something ain't right, because the scriptures, because I was still in the Bible, I just didn't have to understand it. They said about the secret organization, the secret things, and not to be doing those things that's within the secret. And so I knew a secret when he came to me, pulled me to the side. It's a big old event. I'm hopping up with all these stars and shit. And he gonna pull me to the side. Now, if you want to be a part of it, it's 
whole thing and this pool right here. And I was like, man, I already heard kind of stories, but I didn't really know. So the spirit was like, don't, don't fuck with them. So that let me know, if you're in part of Hollywood, if you're part of nothing, and don't think it's just Hollywood, it's your music. Don't think it's just your music. If you want to get a million dollar contract playing for the Chicago Bulls, you have to sell out. Okay, if you want to go ahead and get, they'll give you the small contracts to see what's up. You know what I'm saying, they're not going to bust the whole bubble. All right? But if you want to get to that upper echelon where you get that multi-million dollar shit, you're going to have to, you're going to have to, like you said, preferably bend over. If it's not physically, you're going to have to bend over and kill your mama, yep. kill your, your father, Michael Jordan, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have to go up there, uh, uh, kill your cousins or your family, like yes. uh, uh, what's old girl, Jennifer, Jennifer, uh, Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Hudson, yeah. okay? You're, oh, you're going to have to do something uh, homosexual, right. like uh, uh, Eddie Murphy. Which, uh, he was with the training, and so as he came up against they they the leave the tape out, then they, they're gonna have some type of control over you. So they, because once you get a name, once you get a platform, and once you get a voice, now you become dangerous to their uh, their, uh, their gender. It's strange. Well, right? well, at the end of the day, uh, uh, Satan did uh, say that to Yahweh. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He, 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 yep. They require a sacrifice. He said, man, uh, Satan had told Yahweh, Shai, hey, all this was delivered unto me. I give it to you. If you bow down to me, that's it. That's it. You know, so they require a hey, to be of this world and the fashion of this world, all right, and be flourishing with this world. You got to make a sacrifice, man. Yep. So, are you gonna sacrifice uh, 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 to, to righteousness or are you gonna sacrifice to wickedness? That's it. Either way it go, you gonna sacrifice. Huh? Right. See? Well, let's, let's get that uh, Isaiah 13 and 15, everyone that is failed shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. See, you joined unto this present evil world, then you're going to get the, 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 the consequences of doing that. The that they're just desert. Right. You see? Well, let's get that real quick. This uh, 1 Corinthians 7 and verse 31. Uh -huh. And they that use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passeth away. See? For the fashion of this world passeth away, man. So why you, hey, why you, you just got there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the right way you want it to be. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I finally made it. What's that crack in the clouds? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, right. that's how it's going to be for a lot of J, bro. It's because they're going to, uh, that's how it's going to be like that for Esau too. The Lord said in the fullness of his sufficiency, he's going to be uh, he's getting, straight. getting straight. Right? So some people, the Lord will have you in such a straight that you ain't going to even get the bag until right at the end. And right at the end, he's trying to set up and enjoy that delicious. <laughs> oh, man. Man, this is motherfucker. Right, that's it. Can't even go, can't, you gonna be that's able it. barely to swallow it down. That's it, see, that's, that, that's for those who abuse this world. You see, he told us to use this world, because, hey, we gotta go to work, we gotta pay, hey, it says we're subject to payments, you see? So we got bills, we gotta hop into the matrix, go to work, you know what I'm saying? Make our couple of bucks, you know, to pay our bills. You know, hey, you may even go, you know, have your little drink, Go shoot some hoops, go to the gym, little bar or something, you know what I'm saying? But hey, we right up out of there, man. We ain't about this world, I don't have no hope for this world, man. Because we understand that the fashion of this world passes the way, man. I remember Eldi Ashwamba made a, a video like years back, probably like five years ago now, about what he, it was something under the lines of, you know, plug into the matrix uh, only when you have to. That's it. You know? Basically, how you said, get in and out. Like even in the movie, The Matrix, they they they, they went in, did what they had to do, yep. and then got the hell out. Because what, what happened if they stayed in? All those agents started coming. All right, and if you got caught up, you were smoked, man. That's it. Yeah. And, and, and you're gonna have all those different uh, 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 temptations. That's and, what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. That uh -huh. with the, uh, what do you say? The state. The red. 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 The Damn! I know this ain't real. As a matter of fact, I know what I think I'm tasting. Ain't even good. And this night I ain't even tasting shit. But it feels right. yeah. so good. Right. And I would rather have this feeling than to be up there in the reality and actually live it. 
And that's that real food. Hey, but but this is what it is. The fashion of this world passed away, and here, here it is. You have prophets out here giving you the warning, man. This is all part of the word of God. Prophecies that uh, the, the, Lord, the Lord has given the earth into the hands of the wicked just for a time. And you don't want to uh, be with this place, man. What you got, brother? I was just going to add to what the elder was saying that uh, D Devo was Zeus the wrestler before he became that actor. Dwayne Johnson was the rock before he became that tooth fairy wearing dress. Bruh. So, you know, there you go with the selling out. You got to give up something oh, yeah. to get something. You got to. Yeah. What you yeah, got, I brother? I had a precept to back up what the elder was talking about. And then, brother, uh, it's not too. You know, in Hollywood, I can't confuse this. You have a lot of one hit wonders. You know why they only made one record? Because they kind of found out what they had to do to keep that success going and fell back. So, very few of them. Yeah, maybe 5% of them. <laughs> uh, okay, if that means, you know. Right, right. But this is Proverbs 23, and I start at the top. It says, When thou sittest to eat with the ruler, consider diligently what is before thee. You know, because they have all kinds of hidden agendas, right. ulterior yeah. motives. That's it. You know, and it says 23 and 2, and put a knife to thy throat, if thou be a man given to appetite. Woo! And that's that's the that's the dainty she's talking about, you know. Yep. This good job. Yep. This twenty thousand dollar sign bonus before you do anything and all that there. Hey those gifts that uh -huh. destroy your heart. Oh, oh, oh. hey, hey, you know hey, 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 I really like this man. What y'all teaching is really good. Uh, and I'm down. I just gotta make this thirty thousand oh, yeah, dollars real yeah, yeah, quick. Yeah. Real quick, I gotta go make this thirty thousand dollars, thirty thousand, and I will be back, bro. Cause this right here, is, that's that shit right here, bro. We heard a man say that years ago, and he ain't been back cause he's still looking for that thirty thousand dollars. Y'all niggas still looking for that fat big booty bitch, right? That stink ass man already ran through a hundred niggas bitches. All right, and she got a right to tell you how she feels yes, sir, and her yes, emotions. But this is what's how I feel, and this is what I'm about. Fuck her ass out of here, guys. Yeah, we brought out earlier about the fashion of this world gonna pass it away. Makes it fast to pass away, and that's why the scriptures say what that you uh, seek the Lord while He may be found. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord, and get on, get on it immediately, man. Because if you don't know when. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is going to bring that judgment. Look what happened with, uh, it was just, you know, a small thing with the, uh, with the Silicon, Silicon uh, Valley Bank, man. Yeah. All right. Hey, in one minute, everything was cool. And then overnight, all of a sudden, people lost money. We're talking about, uh, uh, what was it, Sharon Stone? And hey, she lost a good uh, a, a portion of her money, man. And she, you know, she's been in the industry for how long? I mean, how much money? Yeah. All right. Now it's gone, man. A good chunk of it. Well, it's just the signs of the times. Hey, but you see how they flip the script, though? Um, the people who didn't have money that's insured in there, as, you know, they're going to have to watch, but wait for me, I put my money in the bank. It's FDIC insured. Oh, up to 250. So after that, what's up there? Oh, that's not insured. So now they're showing you that if you got anything of more than $250,000 in the bank, it's really not yours and not safe. And God damn it. And then, and then the government came and said, no, the bank can say, I don't have to recoup that. I'm only insured up to 250000 So you said Sharon Stone, which I didn't hear that too much yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know she's a multi, multi, multi yep. billionaire. And 250000 is probably nothing but some, uh, some uh, what do you call, what do you call this? Uh, no, 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 Nah, you're looking at it. Yeah. I, I bet you Sharon ain't gonna say that. Sharon gonna be like, nah, uh, uh, uh him need my motherfucking money. Oh man, they want every penny. That's right. That's why that shit that line was wrapped around the corner. And this is not over yet. Yeah. Right? Oh, no, just, it's just sorry. the beginning. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just the beginning. Yeah. 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 That's right. Hey, the, the, the time of Jacob's trouble, all right? Man, these things are just right. beginning. Yeah. We ain't nowhere near the apex, man, but. 
is gradually getting there, but it's gonna go from gradual to even, you know, more more speed. Yep. All right, it's gonna go into ludicrous speed. Let's look up a little more about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Baseball, baseball, baseball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it. I know about it. I know about baseball. Big oversized motherfucking Darth Vader helmet. Oh, so like that. What's going on there? There was a video that I did. They showed this chart, right? They had a. Several different banks, about a good like 40 banks. Now you had the, the Silicon Valley, uh, um, you know, bank, right? It was more towards the left hand side, all right? And then, um, I think it was like at risk, right? Whatever. Uh, but, yeah. They had about 30, I think it's 34 banks that were on the right, right of it that were doing, that's actually at a higher risk, man. So think about it 34 other banks are about to collapse. And the only worst scenario, let's go. So the only uh, uh, banks that are so-called, you know, okay, are like the top tier ones. The, you know, the, the J JP Morgan, the, the, the Chase, the uh, uh, Citibank, uh, Wells Fargo. You know, those, are the, those are the ones who are all down on the agenda. That, that are pushing, you know, the, 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 the uh, you know, the MOTV, man. All them top banks are owned yeah. by um, Vanguard and BlackRock. Any goddamn yeah. they, they, they've set this all. They have set all the shit up. Right. Oh, I mean, like, we gotta bail out. That's the concept is stupid. Who gotta bail out a fucking bank? Right. You should never. If the bankers were doing right, you would never have to bail them out. That's right. They, they keep they, yeah. so like, yo, they keep printing money and it's backed by nothing. It's called fraud. And they keep doing it, and nobody's throwing nobody in jail for shit. That's called oh, fractional yeah. reserve banking. Yeah, and um, you know, when you look at the debt clock, after they took the money out the gold standard, you know, it was, the money was backed by oil drills, basically. Mm -hmm. You know, and now at this particular time, and for a few months now, it's zero oil drums for whatever measurement they use. So it's, it, it ain't even no oil back it's, 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 it's oil shortage. Yeah. You have a diesel shortage, you have a gas shortage, you have a refining shortage. Well, not to mention all these tankers dumping this diesel that just with the train derailments and all this other shit. The Lord is fixing this shit up. Yeah. 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 Good. Good. Yes, that's new oil. Yeah. Yeah. New oil is really hot. Yeah, I mean, the only thing they really got back in the money now is the regular shit now. What they got back in the now is.
right? And he has got that, uh, our women's team is that, and our men now making their number one everything. It's me, 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 I, I, I. Before you can focus on you, who brought you, you? The Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So that's who your number one focus is going to be, the Heavenly Father. If the Heavenly Father is not your number one majority, if these scriptures are not your mother, but no matter of fact, real quick, somebody did that, it's Jerusalem, not my chief. Joy, I'm just shot. All right, so if this, if who's, who's first in your life? If it's you, you are sincerely wrong. It says, Luke 12 and 19, it says, and I will say to my soul, soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But Yahweh said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? Exactly. So you, okay, so who got the one I asked for? So go on, I want you to guys again. Hold on a second. The Psalms 137 and verse 5. If I forget, it's like if I forget thee, O Jerusalem. King David said, If I forget you, O Jerusalem, what's Jerusalem? Our former land. Who created it, Yahweh? Who's running it, Yahweh Shai? And who else? The angelic forces embodied with King David on down? If I forget my heritage, if I get my culture, if I get my language, if I forget my people, if I forget my laws, statutes, commandments, if I forget my heritage and power, go ahead. Let my right hand forget her cunning. Let me not be able to go work no more. Maybe I'm not to do anything more. Take away all my strength and my might. Go ahead. If I do not remember thee, if I forget Yahweh, if I can forget Yahweh Shai, if I forget the way and the, the law, statutes, commandments, and how to be pleasing to him, go ahead. Let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. Let me shut the... Let me just be silent because everything else is going to be... I can take away my hands, take away my might, and take away my speech. Just to take me. Yeah. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. Is it that Jerusalem, the knowledge, the wisdom, the power, the glory, the, the heaven, so the, the Father, man, that's everything. He said, fuck me if I'm not on that. Go ahead, brother. It says, Luke 12 and 20, it says, But Yahweh said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. That was laying back up what you had just read. It says, Luke chapter 12, verse 19, it says, And I, and I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years, Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. So I'm not gonna save all this, made all this money. Yeah, I'm only 25, and I already got five million dollars. You know what I'm saying? I'm great. Let me go ahead on and set me up a house. Let me go ahead on and set me up a palace. Let me go get my glory now. All right, go ahead. It says, but well, Yahweh said unto him, thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of You don't know the Lord had that accident just right there waiting for your way. That's right. All right, the Lord, the Lord didn't know, didn't know that the man, the, the restaurant, he think he was all getting you some shrimp and lobster and crab, they're throwing some mussels up in that motherfucker's <laughs> shellfish, and you allergic to even know, now your face is a, the size of a goddamn pumpkin, and now you know why you had, you just said, went to anaphylactic shock and died. Right, yeah. Straight to hell. It says, but Yahweh said unto him, thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee, Hey. You're gonna die in your sleep. Yeah. Hey. Right. It says, then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? So you put all your eggs, oh, shit. all your glory, all your wealth, and all your bad eggs in the wrong fucking basket. Put right. it in yourself. That's it. All right, see, see, if I went to the casino, I'm betting on black. If I went to the spiritual <laughs> casino, I'm betting on black. You how about show me how it's shy, man? Kingdom or bust. We gonna put it all in Peter said, I got it. But what did Peter say? He said, we done, hey, we done all, we giving all, we done all. Matter of fact, check, look, how you got shit else? No, nah, not, not a little piece of chip on no. the side or nothing, nah. Not, not a, no, no. Oh. There is no plan B. That's right. it. There was no just side pocket. It. That's it's, it. It's not leaving a hundred dollar bill folded in the car just so you can run out again. That's it. Hey, see, because with this, this ain't a gamble here. See, our hope is steadfast and sure. Right. You see, the word of God is going to come to pass. It's no doubt about it. You see? Go ahead, brother. It says, so is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich towards Yahweh. See, right. you're not rich toward Yahweh. You don't think that the word of God is going to come to pass for real. Yeah. You see? You ain't got no faith. 
you don't have faith. See, you, yeah, you don't fear the Lord. You don't have faith in the Lord. You don't want the word of the Lord to come to pass. You see? So you, you to, to actually go all in, that's pure D faith, man. And that faith, that's a gift. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's a gift from the Most High God, man. Go ahead. Verse uh, 22, it says, And he said unto his disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall drink, neither for the body, what ye shall put on. Uh -huh. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than rain. Sit. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap. So like, so, like, so the life is more than meat, the body more than raiment, it's more than gold. It's more better than a, a fancy car, a fancy house, a fancy name, a fancy bitch, a fancy anything that's got to do with this world. The Lord said, that, does, that shit doesn't motherfucking matter, man. You know what matters? That's what matters. That's right. <laughs> right. He, 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 what matters is uh, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. He that's said, right. uh, um, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability. All right, the stable, I'm not saying stubble, I'm stability. Right. Because it's going to help you stay in this trouble. King David said, I shall not be moved. Why? Because we can buffet it all the day long. See. We get our ass handed to us, man. Right. Yep. From the ruler to the tutor, mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, all them goddamn leaves. Hey, and it's all for our learning, man. That's right. It's working for us. All that because uh, uh, before honor, is humility, man. Right. And we have to experience that. That's right. and we have to go through all those things, yet maintain faith and integrity and produce righteousness in the face of evil while we even trap in evil. All right? That's the good fight of faith and understanding that the word of God is righteous. The word of God is happening and going to happen, man. Right. Uh, right. See? What you got, bro? Yeah. This is uh, Proverbs 11 and 9. A hypocrite with his mouth destroys his neighbor, but through knowledge shall the just be delivered. Woo. Through what? Through knowledge shall the just be delivered. Through folly. Through knowledge, the just shall be delivered. Not my bad Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the world. I mean, my fact, the school system, the theologian, the God. See, everybody gonna put something else and say it's all types of knowledge, but that's not the only knowledge. Well, the scripture says the knowledge of wickedness is it's not, not wisdom. wisdom. That's right. That's right. You see? That's right. Because this because all the mindsets you know of, of this world, all right, uh, it don't equal unto wisdom. It don't equal unto righteousness, which equals immortality. That's why. I, that's why it says, "Hey, where are the princes of this world become?" He said, "They come to naught, man. They come to nothing." All right. He said, "Hey, with all their great so-called knowledge, all right, they still dead." They still dying. No one has ever found out how to live forever, and you best believe they trying out how to find that. What did they say to y'all, Shai? He said, uh, "Are y'all gonna leave me too?" He said, "And where will we go? <laughs> Thou <laughs> hast the, the ways of life, life, the words of life. You got the way, the word." He said, "I am the truth and the light." I am the way. He said, "I am the way, the truth, and the light." That's it. Right. All right. He's the light. He's the life. Yep. Right, because when we talk about um, the, in the beginning, that which we've handled of the words of life. Yes. Yahweh, that's 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 Yahweh Bashir, Yahweh Shai on down. Hey, and that's why he said, "Be ye holy." Come on. Because everybody, all the nations, have a way of death. All right, that's why they call the day. All right, and that's why the scripture says, "Hey, if we wander out of the way of life, then uh, 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 we remain in the congregation of the day." That's right, and they will not. Do anything to wake up your dead body. They're gonna use it. They're gonna laugh. Yep. They're gonna sell, and they're gonna make business off you, and make like the scripture say, make merchandise of you. Yep. Hey, uh, and, and that's Baruch three. We we read a uh, little uh, above where we read. It goes into hey, if thou didn't you know, this way of wisdom that was given to you, you have forsaken. He said, if you didn't forsake this way, you would have dwelled in peace forever. You see. See, but we have forsaken the way of life, all right? That one way that leads to life everlasting, man. We forsook that way. Now, of course, it was all in the spirit. It was all part of the prophecies, all right? It's like uh, uh, Isaiah 63 says, Why have thou made us uh, uh, to err from thy way, all right? Because this was all a test 
the proving grounds to see who was the creme de la creme, who was going to produce righteousness, man. All right, uh, the most. All right, go ahead. Got another quick one. Yep. yep. See the importance of fearing the Lord, man, because that's the beginning of wisdom. Yep. And also, uh, of one being accepted by him, as the scripture says, the rock as well. Exactly. Uh, hold on, we got a scarf on the, on the board. I know Ooh. it's not that fast. Taiwan, <laughs> Taiwan Johnson, Grand Rising, also the Bible. Grand Rising as the Bible. Oh, no. no. Okay. Ari so, has passed for real. I thought it a rap believes or not. It's all y'all to wait until it's actually sink in what we already in need. What y'all doing, y'all doing exactly what don't matter. Uh, people uh, look within, not without what people are saying. Dude. But, but you know what? Keep believing what you believe in, bitch. Dude. I'm going to uh, punk uh, ass uh, bitch. Uh, because you know what? You ain't out here in the, in the lines teaching. And everything we're proving is in the scriptures. Man. Well, we go to artifacts. We can go into scriptures. We can go into evidences. And guess what? You are on. You're so and so low level. Can't even speak proper grammatical English. Fuck you. You're dumb. You're stupid. Because if you're not preaching, what do you got that's going to save so called Negro, Latino, Native American collectively out of the hell that we're in right now with the so called fucking uh, white man? Stupid punk ass. Ah, uh, what a move, bro. Because ultimately, this is a part <laughs> of the scriptures, and man. And that's the only reason why he even says something, because the brother brought it up and brought us called for the light. Man, we give a fuck, we give a fuck about what the fuck you think. Hey, but this Stupid. is, no, must needs be. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. No, so we, we got to have that. So and he's got, awesome. got to have him get cussed out. Too. So that's beautiful, beautiful. What, what you got, brother? Uh, another quick Say another problem. 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 Sorry for your mother. <laughs> Proverbs 28 and 18. I feel happy for you because you're going to see that fire, which might correct your dumb ass. Go ahead, bro. Proverbs 28 and 18. Whoso walketh uprightly shall be saved, but he that is perverse in his ways shall fall at once. That's, that's, that's a perverted mind right there. Yeah. That's the example that we're talking about. This is, see, in, in a place of darkness, what do you need to be able to get out of that dark? Light. 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 What proverbially, once we got brought out here on this cargo slave ship, were we not brought and uprooted from our, our native land? Right. Are we are we under rulership of our own people? No. Nope. Are we under rulership of the laws and statute commandments that was our ancient way? No, nope. sir. See, nope. so now we're in a land of dark. Yep. Now, the, the, somebody who doesn't want to be in darkness, the first thing they're going to do is say, where is that light? Where can I find it? And how can I keep it on? Right. That's why we constantly trimming our, our wicks. If you don't, if you don't trim a wick, somebody go, uh, uh, Matthew 25 and 1. All right? If you don't trim that wick, you know what's going to happen? That fire is going to go out. You have to keep adding cloth and you have to trim it to keep it burned without uh, uh, being black smoke. If you get dust on it, if it is not, not a oil that the wick is in, you have to have the oil to keep it wet and moist and keep it burning. Any black in that process, you're going to lose that light. All right? You got it. Matthew 25 and 1. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be like like to ten virgins which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. So now the Lord says, keep your foot when you come to the congregation of the Lord. Why? Because once you open up your mouth, you just did know what? You're teaching. Well, I ain't no teaching, don't say shit. Because now we're on a platform where we are we teaching on this app, yes, though, this app? Sir. Yes, sir. So now somebody gonna look on this app and look at the comments. And be like, oh, what's he saying? Which if they fall off, fuck them. Because our, we are, if, if their gospel be hid, it's hid to them that are lost. But the point is, now you're teaching. Now you're going to be held accountable for the words that came out of your motherfucking mouth. Right? right? Which will now put you into a category of being a foolish, a foolish person. Go ahead. I know. Got you. Go ahead. Uh, verse 2. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. So now out of all the camps out here and all the people who are in the camp but have their own individual doctrine, we just was uh, driving down to the, the, the tacos earlier and uh, Israel, a God man, was dropping off somebody. And I was like, oh, that was Jacob. It wasn't Jacob. One of the, the, the Hebrews that means Jesus and Hebrew together, they Jacob. Right? <laughs> but that, no, but there's people to this day following their false ass Jesus ass philosophy. Once you open your mouth and start speaking on heavenly things, you have put yourself in a whole other realm. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah verse three. They that were because that's many strikes there, man. See, some people.
people who don't know no better than wicked niggas, you gonna get few straight. But once you open up your folk mouth, fucking mouth and start scolding, you gonna teach false doctrine, or teach uh, coming against the elders and so forth, you have put yourself in the land of many straights. Yep. <laughs> uh, Matthew 25 and 3. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. See, he ain't got no oil. The mother groups, they had a little oil, but their oil ran out. That's right. All right? If you take the oil out of the engine, it's going to step <laughs> and it's going to seize up on your ass. Probably start okay? feeling real weird. <laughs> <laughs> Verse 4. But the wise took oil in their vessels uh, with their lamps. While the bridegroom yeah. tarried, they all slumbered and slept. We all was in a state of slumber and sleep. Go ahead. And at midnight there was a cry made. Get the fuck up. Come do it. I'm about to come. Do this work. Go ahead. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. So we out here to meet him. We out here in the streets. All right, go ahead. Then all these virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil for your lamps. For our lamps are gone out. So that's what this nigga saying. That's what these other false ass groups are saying. That's what uh, Bishop uh, Porkchop and Pastor Bacon, that's what they saying. Go ahead. But the wise answered and said, saying, not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. So keep it moving if you ain't about this shit. All right? Keep being in the world, man, because we ain't got time. Our, this right here is for those that can hear. These are those that want to change their ways and understand that they're coming out of uh, darkness into the marvelous light. Is it a little bit more now? Go ahead. <clears throat> but go ye, but, but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And you're gonna have to go all the way back to them scriptures and go ahead and relearn and that's we got time for that, bro. Go ahead, bro. This is just for that idiot. This is Proverbs chapter one and verse twenty. Wisdom proud without she uttered her voice in the street. And that's what we doing she right uttered now. her yep. voice in the streets. Yep. Yep, that, and that, that's what wisdom is doing right now, right. all through the spirit power of Yahweh Shabbat Shalom. All right, Proverbs, go ahead. Proverbs 1 and 21, she cried in the chief places of the concourse in the openings of the gate. In the openings of the gate. All right, the chief place of concourse. You see? In go the ahead. city, she uttered her words saying. In the city. We, 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 this is what's happening right now. Right. Go ahead. How long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity? How long will ye simple ones, ye open-minded ones to, because that's what simple goes into, you being open-minded to some other, other mindset being righteous than the mindset of the Most High God. You simple, you stupid. You and, see, go ahead. And the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. You see, uh, like he, well, whoever did that and put that down and probably giggled with it. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And I don't understand, understand that every idle word that you say, you, you're going to have to give account there to. Every what? Every idle word that men say, so, you must give so account. So somebody just driving they right now, they was around the corner right now. They were smoking a blunt, kicking it with their friends, right? Uh -huh. They turn around the corner, we have no clue what we own. Right. They drive right by yep. and say, fuck you. Yep. And that was just a little bit, they were just bullshitting. Just like, look at these niggas. They don't have a clue. Yep. They yep. Gonna have to, oh, they gotta, they gotta hold that finger, it's gonna be coming, uh, questioning in jeopardy. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? See, that's how you all don't know. The Lord says, uh, touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. What you say before the Lord, and what you do before the Lord, is all going to have to be accounted for. That's why the Lord says it's going to be a visitation. Yeah. Your visitation is about to come and make an account of your labor. What the fuck have you been on? Down yeah. here in this world as if you are down here with no impunity. Yeah. But yeah. you're hurting other people in the process. Yeah, like when he comes, it's like, okay, who was y'all serving? That's it. All right, was it me or was it one of the mindsets of this world? All right, see, we're serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai back here. And we have the message of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right. And it says how that, hey, he, uh, uh, they cannot hate you, but me it hate you. Yeah. You see? So here it is. But as the scriptures also says, uh, uh, if the world hated you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. Right. That's right. You see? So we're in good company, man. You know? Hey, come on. Give, give, give the, come with the scoffs. Come with the mockeries. Come with all the things that the scripture said that you was going to come with and boost my faith. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. All right. This is Proverbs 1 and 23. Uh -huh. Turn you at my reproof. It says, turn you at my reproof. This is what we did. 
Right. All right, through the spirit power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh that word turn is from the Hebrew word shawab, which means return. And it says return at my reproof. Here it is, the prophets, we're the ones that's reproving in the gate. Right. All right, we're the ones that's, uh, 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 Isaiah 51, I mean 58 and 1, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, show my people their transgressions in the house of Jacob their sins. All right, this is what we're doing. All right, it was done to us. All right, and now that we have, you know, turned and returned and came back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, it's still learning and growing in the spirit ourselves. Absolutely. You see, but, but wow, we, we're we're uh, uh, you know uh, we're on the job, though. On the job training. On the job training, <laughs> you know. And so whatever it is, uh, 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 the light that he gives each and every individual prophet, all right, every individual teacher, whatever then we, measure. yep, whatever measure, all right, well we let that light shine, man. That's it. All right, and this is the reproof. That's it. And now the the rest of the elect is gonna return at the recruit. Go ahead. Behold, I will pour out my spirit on you. And somebody got the spirit of the Lord down here. Somebody got the spirit of the Lord in truth down here right now. All right? And it ain't Richard Bacon. It ain't Pastor Porkchop. It ain't your, your, your seminary system. And it's not your goddamn uh, collegiate system. All right? It's in the true wisdom and understanding of the scriptures and the, and the men of the Lord and the highways and byways out there we're pushing them in the right way. Sit. Hey, and they're telling you, all right, the true men of the Lord, they're telling you, hey, we have 100% truth. And just like Peter said, we have a more sure word of prophecy wherein you do well that you take heed. But the thing is, is all the false prophets, they saying that, hey, follow me. They're saying that they got the truth too. So the false prophets and the true prophets all are saying, we got the truth, follow us. You see? See, but it's going to be made manifest. That's why it says, then shall be known who are my chosen, man. See, and, and the thing is, is that these false prophets, they really don't get on each other. All right? They are, matter of fact, the majority of the false prophets, they just stay in their lane, and then they only get on somebody if that somebody is getting on them. To hurt doctors. See, but the true <laughs> men of the, exactly, the, the true men of the Lord, they're gonna get on every false doctrine. Did they put their hands Just, on Did they put their hands on <laughs> Hey, well, hey the, 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 the true men of the Lord, they gonna get on all false doctors, doctors because right. just like the scripture says in that Romans, uh, uh, let God be true in and every man alive. alive. And he said in Acts 20 and 27, we have not shunned to declare unto you all, all the counsel of the Most High. So it's, it's it, 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 like uh, that Romans, uh, let God be true in every man a liar. See, God is true. And God is speaking through his specific chosen uh, men that he chose from before the beginning of time right. to, to speak his word. Whether they believe it or not. Whether they believe it or not. And those men that speaking through the spirit that he rests upon them, well, they have the unpopular job to tell Every man, they a liar. That's right. And that comes with the unpopularness that comes with it of people saying, uh, uh, tell me smooth things. Right. Prophesy lies. Yep. Give me the goddamn like, the seeds, bro. Yep. That's right. I would rather have the fraud and say that this is all brand new yep. water, fresh water, when I know it's laced with fluoride. Yep. I don't want to know that. I just want to drink my water. Bang. Bang. All right? All don't tell me that the bitch geez. that I'm about to deal with that has 500 dicks in her. Don't tell me that she got herpes. <laughs> Don't tell me that. Just let me eat it. <laughs> so I'm saying that's just that's how stupid it sounds. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's all exactly. oh, it's he said this earth, this is not your rest, it's greatly polluted. That means anything that's contrary is greatly fucking you up. Or or you just got those that be like, well, who are you? Who are you to tell me? That's right. Alright? So here it is. You gonna say, who are you? Alright? To the true men of the Lord that is speaking through the spirit that the Most High puts upon them to speak. So it's as if the Most High is speaking. So you're going to say to the Most High. Who are you? Just like uh, the Apostle Paul. He said, hey, I, I, uh, you know, uh, you didn't receive it as the word of men. I was, I was just kidding. Oh, okay. I was going to say, but through their words. That's I was just about to put through their words. Oh, okay. Well, that's St. Uh, 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 John 17. Okay, can't, well, I'll get both. They both are the sister scriptures. Yep. They both and, and, and somebody can get that. Uh, at Thessalonians where he say uh, uh, you didn't receive it as the word of men 
but as it is in truth, the word of God. All right, this is a. Uh, uh, when you go straight to a Saint uh, uh, Saint, Saint John seventeen and, uh, and Saint twenty. John. Saint John, this is Saint John seventeen. You got the that, that's, that's Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'll just, I'll just reject it. They all gonna work together for the good. Uh, John 17 and 20, right? Oh, okay. You got both. Come on, I don't even know how to do that. I don't even know how to do that. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, uh, neither pray I for these alone, but also for them which shall believe on me through their word. Okay. Right. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also who shall believe on me through their word. That's it. And in, in BLT, I am praying not only for these disciples, but for also for all who will ever believe in me. That's it. Through their message. See, see the disciples, he talked about the 144, the, the prophets, the teachers. All right? But I'm not only praying for the, the, the disciples, the prophets, the teachers. It says, but I'm praying also for them which shall believe on me through their words. Right. See, through their words. See, 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 their word is talking about the prophets who knew, the, the only ones who knew that song. See, that's why in that Revelation 14 it says no man was able to uh, learn that song but the 144,000. See, 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 that, see, now we don't know that man in, in his history. Oh, I thought you know. No, he, he stopped and he pointed over here and he started saying, look at them. And the little boy started singing. So I waved back and then he singing the pound. So now I don't know if you know what we're about. He might, he might not because you know this word is out there. But see, that's the type of spirit. He's in the right. So that's the type of spirit that the Lord is looking for. Right. Now he's not going to be one. Maybe the child is the one. Who knows? But that's the. You don't even see that now in Jake on a regular. Jake is so into them. Jake is don't give a fuck about nobody. I have not seen the level of selfishness ever. So only way you can believe in these words, you got to be selfless. You got to take yourself out the fucking way. All right. Because in order to hear the truth, you got to hit stop here the lies. Right. All right. Who got the other one? Yeah, you got that. Oh, we got it first. Yeah. First It's First Thessalonians two and verse thirteen. Yeah. For this cause also thank we the Most High without ceasing. You see, we thank the Most High back here without ceasing, without stopping. Why? Because when, we, when ye receive the word of the Most High, when ye receive the word of God in truth, which ye heard of us, which ye heard of us, men, down here on the earth, all right, that mess up, right. you know what I'm saying? Valuable. Yep, we've all yep. sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, a just man fallen seven times, all that, all right? Going back to what you say, the, uh, the, the you know, one got the stanky breath, one got the little walk like this, you know what I'm saying? One just broke as hell, one, said, you know. One got that annoying well, last laugh. broke as hell, but it's just left as broke as hell. You know what I'm saying? It's level as broke as hell. You know what I'm saying? You know, but here it is, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. And they looking at us like the base things of the world. And that's okay. Because here it is that the Lord is coming to exalt those that are abased. That's right. And to abase those that are exalted. That's right. Go ahead. It says, when you receive the word of God, you ye heard of us. Uh -huh. You received it not as the word of men. Right. right. But so it wasn't like, like it's like, oh, that's just that's some, some guy speaking. Yeah, coming from their mind. Right. You know. They said he just came up with that shit. I, I swear he just made that shit. Uh, uh, right. Uh, everything these niggas ever learned in their life at school came from something. That just made up some shit. <laughs> exactly. That's right. Except for the things that were rooted in the scriptures. Because they teach that too. But they act like they were the authority on that. And no, I was looking at the earth is 14.9 billion. Right, right, and, right. They were talking about, they were talking about, um, yeah, you know, the, the core of the earth is molten. And bitch, you ain't been there. <laughs> right, right. They were surprised that they went down XYZ miles under the uh, earth and found water moving. Oh, oh, that yeah, must have happened. That must have happened because the, the, the earth got a leak in it. The ocean's had a leak in it. Okay. Look at that. They said the earth, the ocean, they literally said the ocean has a leak. What? In it. Okay. And they can't even go to the bottom of the ocean. Right. So how would you know that? Well, we put a lot at the several mile pole. Well, it was the anti We had a thesis. <laughs> and then an anti <laughs> And, you know, we. Radar. Then yeah, we just scrapped so all yeah. that. And then educated thinking. Yes. Educated guests. Yes. yes. And then we have re educated guests. Oh, God, how you re educated We found species that lived a million years ago a still living. Years. 
years ago. How did you know it was a million? <laughs> because it's a black hole out there. Have you been out there? <laughs> Have you seen it? Man. But it must be. Because the, the light now that is reflecting on the camera that's shooting over 10 million miles is showing that there must be a, a suction or a vortex. Shut the fuck up! How do you know? Well, I, I, it's this scientist right here on my back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I have five degrees. <laughs> Well, my name tag says I'm the utmost authority. <laughs> Have you been up there? No, but you know, shut up. Go ahead. It's my extrapolation. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's more there, right? Uh huh. It says, but as in the truth, the word of God, which effectually worketh also in you that believe. That believe. Oh, so it's the truth. It's, you ain't gonna get this unless you really believe. That's it. And you can't believe unless the Most High. Open up your mind and give to that. That's the gift of the Lord to get us to see this, bro. Hey. Because we couldn't see it. Yep. And it's so cold. It's a black off and on switch to it. Because oh. Saul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Saul saw it. Yep. She didn't, she didn't even hear them, but love Saul just for a moment. All right? But Saul, this is, man, Saul number with the prophets. God damn, Saul is. Yep. It, then the Lord changed him to who? Another man. Man, he took it away and changed into another man, man. That's why when we see men, Pooh Bear, all right, the two stooges, okay, all right, and, and all the rest of these motherfucking um, impatient ass bastards, all right, we, we look at them like, oh damn, one minute they was out here gung ho with us, and now they're gung ho in madness. Well, it talks about the uh, parable of the sources. You know, you're going to have some that come in for this amount of time and fall out, for that amount of time and fall out. This amount of time it fall out, you know, and that's the scary thing, and that's why it says, "Hey, greater thou art, the more humble thyself." You don't want to be that prodigal son, man, because he might not bring you back into it. He might not accept you back again. There are those two, those who act up, fall away for a period of time. The Most High will show mercy upon them. Several of, of, of us said we know in, in the body that we're prodigal sons before, and the Lord opened it up. But that's a dangerous game to play. Right? It's the same dangerous game Esau teaches Jake to have anyway. Live, live, bad, madness, act a fool all your life. Yeah. As soon as you get old yeah. or get in trouble, yeah. get locked up yeah. or get pregnant, yeah. pregnant now, yeah. or some kind of calamity, yeah. and get in your deathbed and shit. Yeah. Lord, I'm so sorry. Don't yeah. worry, Jesus will help. Please be Jesus. Oh, forgive me, <laughs> Lord. I ain't going to ever do this no more again. <laughs> and now you want the Lord now. Hey, and then, or just like the, 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 the females, you all they like the sluts and boys. Yeah, and at 40 it. years old, they look like precious. You know what I'm saying? And one of you know, now, now they want to go to church. You know, they want to try to put on settle you know, down. Settle down. I'm saving myself you know, for Mary. I'm saving myself for Mary. He said he got the biggest hats on in the church. I'm the big dumbest ass at the church. With fruit on the wall. Yeah. I got a good swing with mild sauce on top of that. See? See, but this is this is that that the, the living word, man, that you must have faith in, man. All right, this is that living word that is unsearchable. It leads to salvation and life everlasting, man. All right, and all that comes with it, man, rulership and everything, man, health and just man, really that uh, uh that song. I mean, uh, uh Revelation uh, one and four, man. All right, no more death. Neither sorrow, nor crying, all right? Because that was in this present temple, evil world, where we can be corrupted, all right? And corruption produces death. Corruption produces sorrow. That's right. Corruption produces uh, 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 pain, all right? And all those negative things, man. Right. But the word of God, man, that's what leads to peace, man. He does the word. Yahweh is the prince of peace, man. Right, right. And that's true. No matter how you said that we all got the gifts, we all got the bumps, we all got the flaws, right? Bumps, bumps. We look like Martin Lawrence yeah. fighting on um, her, right? Right? That's all yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all for You know what I'm saying? Or the Karate Master. Or the Karate Master. Or the Karate Master. Pong Young Pong. So we might appear Side. to be that. Side, man. We might appear to be all that and look like that and even feel like that.
that at times, right now. See, but the Lord says, when He comes, we shall be as He is. Woo! So, if you don't, and that makes me think of the ugly duckling. That makes me think of the, 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 frog, the frog and the, and the prince, the princess and the frog or whatever the fuck. You know, but right now, these bitches, these wicked ass niggas, to them we're not attractive. This truth is not attractive. Right. But I promise you, every day that passes, our attractiveness is yeah. going to grow and get better. Yep. Because as soon as that, that, that um, this collapse gets um, um, not only nationwide, but worldwide, which is already starting to happen worldwide, Don't, let's not forget about um, this uh, Silicon Valley Bank, the brother was mentioned out earlier, but they, they, but then Credit Suisse or how the fuck you say that shit overseas, um, they 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 they're fucked and now they got to get bailed out. And, and that was a ripple effect. And don't forget that a lot of these banks um, are um, owned and attached to many other banks. Okay, so when one is insolvent, it actually affects multi uh, multi other banks and in other industries as well. So what, the more of this place digress, the more that is revealed that all hell is gone, the more. The stock of the Lord is going to rise in the men who promote it. That's right. And that's right. what it's going to come down to. Uh, with the most high, going to be like, look, he's going to nip it and then. He's going to nip it. He's oh, you got your uniform on wrong. Uh -huh. You're not one of us. Right. Oh, oh, you've been, you know, you can't, you know how many times you stalked my man? And then what El Yashua would say one time? It seemed like the more these motherfuckers go, the more they come up and come against us, these bitches included, the better they get. The more they seem like the more they prosper, and the more, and it's all the setup. It's all the setup. Right, right, right. And the most I got you, yeah, nigga. To bring you down, to like set you a up for a great fall. Great fall. Great fall. That's it. Great fall. That's the reason why we are grateful. Because we don't want that great fall. That's right. Uh, hey, right. And like uh, uh, Isaiah uh, 33 and 6. For wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of, sal of salvation. You see, see, and when these times come and everybody is not stable in their mind, meaning they're going crazy, and then they see, you know, a couple of a group of, 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 of cats just sitting back, you know, just all cool and smiling and, you know what I'm saying? Power. And, power. Yes. And wondering, like, damn, why they so cool and calm and happy and, you know, what the hell? Let me, I need to go what's going right. on with well, them. That, well, he said a man's going to be a what? A cobra, right? Uh -huh. So how is a man a cobra? Yeah. It's like, if you're going to a dozen, and, you see, and right now, you see uh, nothing but the dozen. Oh, 
Say your cash for every dog. I'm gonna sit up here. Oh, alright. Hey, they're gonna, they gonna sit up here. Yeah. And we're gonna sit up here. And, uh, well, we're gonna sit up here and do everything. You know what I mean? My thing is, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. My thing is, like, he told me I'm going. He's like, what's my saying? I don't know my saying. But hey, that's what it's gonna be like. Yeah, man, I'm about to see it already. Hey, go ahead, man. My thing is, hey, that's what it's gonna be like when everything all hell breaks loose. You know, a lot of these motherfucking people gonna be out here running around with their head cut off. Women gonna be afraid. Mighty men gonna be sitting up and thinking they tough. Right. And it's gonna be nothing but fear on their face. The Lord, the Lord said they gonna be sitting on the ground. The Lord said the bitches gonna be sitting on the ground and the mighty men on the ground. They go, and when you sit on the ground, especially like in this type of weather, whatever, on the, on the great streets, you're at the lowest estate. Yeah. They always think too, like, you gotta picture yourself when all hell breaks loose. See, a lot of these people, they're gonna see a lot of family members die. They're, they may have killed their family members, they may have eat them. Eat them. They, they they gonna, eat you gotta think about the psychological effects of all these things, man. You know? They're, the Lord is really gonna break these people down, humble them, man. It's the you only know? way! Yeah. Because, you know, he said, he said, so lucky, bro. He said, uh, why would you be stricken anymore? <laughs> you will revolt more and more. So right now the Lord is dealing with every Israelite. He's like, look, man, I said, stop cheating. Stop telling, stop lying. Uh -huh. I told you stop stealing. I told right. you stop worshiping the false idols. I mean, yeah. to the point the Lord is like, okay, now fuck it. No, fuck it. I've been beating him. You will revolt more and more. I beat him the more he run. All right? All right? So guess what? And the find only a way to find a way to have fun. Right? Yeah. And the beat down. This motherfucker. This motherfucker. I'm gonna have fun. Party and bullshit. I'm hurting. And party and bullshit. And party and bullshit. And party and bullshit. Fuck the hell up. Party and bullshit. All right. First day out. A little fast one. This is uh Second Ezra's eight and uh fifty. For many great misery shall be done to them Ooh. that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Say that again, uh, one more time. Second Ezra uh, uh, 8 and 50. For many great misery shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Great misery. Lord didn't say a little misery. No, he said great, great misery. misery. Gonna dwell to make you miserable and meet. Somebody give me the definition of miserable. And we're going to go back into that scripture. Go ahead. He got a little while you're getting miserable. Go ahead, brother. Con, I just want to bring this out right fast because you know our people, the majority of our people, they not looking towards being preserved from the destruction. They looking for a fucking breakthrough from Sweet Jesus. So this is the way. That's the heaven you got to say it. Sweet Jeebus. Sweet Jeebus. Oh, Sweet Jeebus. Sweet Jeebus. Sweet Jeebus. Sweet Jeebus. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, and verse 5. It says, Thus saith the Lord, power Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and evil and only evil. Behold, it is come. Verse 6. And end is come, the end is come. That's it it. watching for thee, it behold, watches for thee. it is coming. So our people, Man. they not watching for the breakthrough. I mean, it's like they not watching for the end, they looking for a breakthrough. And the end watching for your ass. Just imagine evil just watching for you right now. Yeah. <laughs> Scope it, boy. <laughs> just wait, boy, look. Coming in, and you still, in. You still praying. They got you. you still oh, praying. Yeah. <laughs> To get that breakthrough, you're gonna be the next fucking Tyler Perry, Beyonce, Bruh, you're gonna man. get a big mansion and shit. That shit over, you're not gonna get it. They ain't gonna come. Yeah. See, but yeah. if, you, if you really take that watch and see that hawk and he see the prey and he just start looking and just waiting that 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 line when, when the lion was sitting like this like, and he see the prey and he do like the lips like and couch. Right. Man, that's what he was doing on you, bro. And 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 then once that lion is in sight. The fear is instantly like, oh shit. Right. And then once it's, you start taking off trying to flee okay, the, the, the shit. Exactly. I see that. Okay, that was silly ass movie. That was stupid ass movie, but it was, it was, it was, it was, it was I love it. I love it. I love it. Because they kept fucking up all the goddamn crackers and shit. For the, for the, and a couple of them. And, and when, 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 that, when that animal gets you, and once that. Once they feel that claw, that, 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 it's another, it's, that's it, man. It's pain after pain after pain. Uh, somebody give me a know it after death by pain. All right, so who, what, what's the other one I got? You got it? The miserable. Y'all want miserable. Because you know what miserable reminds me of? To a compound word, miser and able. If I'm a miser, I'm not, I'm, I'm holding back. I don't, I can't, I'm not, uh, I'm not spending my money. I'm, I'm being stingy. So you're being stingy with the ability. Miserable is I have no power. 
because I'm not able to have with me power to do anything. So I have no power, a little power. That's why I like that word because it makes me think that I know it's more to it. Go ahead. Uh, 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 Go ahead. Mr. Webster says, being in a pit of, pitiful state or distress or unhappiness. A pitiful state of unhappiness, right? That's that miserable. All right? I mean, completely unhappy. That means you're thoroughly disgusted. You're wretchedly hurt. You're wretchedly at the bottom of the... You ain't getting no lower than this. That's the Lord going to do it. I need that death by pain. Oh, I'll get it right here. Come on. Uh, I'm going to start at 8. This is 2nd Ezra 9 and 8. Shall be pursued, you know, in 7. And everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from sad perils, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them from me from the beginning. In the beginning. But here's what I think you just said about pitiful. Then shall they be in pitiful case. Uh oh, that wretchedness, that miserability. Which now have abused my ways. How did they abuse their ways? By and not following the law, God statute, God commandments, God by coming against the men of the Lord, yeah. by doing those abominable things the Lord said, don't do. And they have cast them away, despitefully shall dwell in torment. They, they, ca they cast the Lord despitefully away. It's a lock, you Lord. But if you his body, Yahweh, they said, get the fuck out of here, man. If you buy your house shot, man, get the fuck out of here. The law's <laughs> gone. No, I don't want to I'm good. <laughs> this is to the Lord. Yeah. Who, without him, you don't live. Right. Without him, you don't move. Without him, you don't have your being. Right. <laughs> but get away from me. Second Edges 9 and 10. For such as in that life have received benefits. But you've been getting them all the benefits. You be eating all the hog moths. <laughs> been eating all the country girls. You done ate the pickles. You had the pickles with the oh, goddamn shit. peppermint in it. All right. You oh. had the goddamn it. You had the goddamn it. Uh, the eggs and the ribs and, and you name it. Contrast. And you know just the so-called benefit of just doing whatever your flesh wanted to do, not putting it into subjection. You see, it was no fight. Right. You see, you had the benefit of just what is zippity doo dah, zippity day. My oh my, oh, what a wonderful day! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah man, he's doing the remix. Hey, but you got nothing but mercy. Despised 
Yeah. That means they despise your how about you? That means they, they despise life. And they despise uh, order. They despise, they despise all the benefits of the Lord, which is all the shit they can take. How you gonna despise him, but get the benefits? That is pure wickedness. To say, I don't wanna fuck with you, but I still want you to give me all the shit you give me. Yep. That, that the hate there is so great. This is what's gonna have to happen, right? I mean, let that sink. That's a salah moment. So that's really a salah moment, and it's a, it's actually a warning to the righteous: don't ever walk down that road again. Because anything contrary to the heavenly Father is great despising to Him, and we are still receiving benefits from Him as at this moment. So you want to what is it? Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Facts. Y'all motherfuckers been biting his hand all the time, all the day long. Right. Right. If the Lord wasn't the most all powerful God, he had nothing but nubs. Right? <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Second and just nine and eleven again. And they that had loathed my law, while they had yet liberty, and was as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death. My pain. The same must know it after death by pain. And it says dwelling in torments. You know, it's like when I go into my dwelling, my crib, I don't just go in and be like, all right, and go back out. No, I kick off my shoes. You know what I'm saying? I sit back on the, 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 the you know, the, 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 the cozy couch. You know what I'm saying? The, the lazy boy. You know what I'm saying? Kick, kick up my feet. Nice couch, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your couch, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> See, but no. Think about it. That's dwelling. He said, dwelling in torment. All right, and so it ain't no just, you know, quick kill. Nah, this is actually. That, that's why he said, uh, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You know, when you gnashing your teeth, you think of you stubbing your toe uh, oh, at the end of the bed rail, that metal, uh, you know what I'm saying? And you learn how to speak 17 languages in that one moment. <laughs> and, you know, after a while, when you stub your toe, the pain subsides. Not no more. Nah, not this one. You actually going to be dwelling in it. You know? Well, yeah, dwelling in it. So how long do you dwell? That's why I say, when I go into my crib, I, I chill. You know what I'm saying? How, how long have you been dwelling there? How many years? Been there now for six years. Six years. It's all. All right. So you see, like you go to your brothers. You got some people who've been dwelling. How long have you been dwelling there? Ah, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. The kids are grown. Right, 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 right. Kids got kids. You know what I'm saying? And they grew up in that. How the ungodly shall be punished, and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and for whom the world is created. Man, for, for whom the world is created, for the righteous, man. So inquire how to be righteous, inquire how to be guided to that way. Because again, he's coming with that fire, right? And it says, What manner of persons ought ye to be? And all holy conversation and godliness, man. The conversation is conduct, right? 
Because if you have on some uh, strange apparel, you through. If you have on strange apparel, that means, well, you was about the mindsets of this world. You was about a, a, a word that came from the mind of a, a, of a man as opposed to the word that came from the mind of the Most High God. Now, it's funny because a little, little, little fat chunky monkey just walked past. And, and, and her apparel, she had, yeah, it was evil. But, and her apparel, exactly. Good. Um, the apparel she had on though was like ratchet, whatever. But she had on some shoes that are some very, very expensive shoes yeah, yeah, yeah. called Yeezys. And guess what? They were dirty. And right now in the cold, they fuck your feet are freezing. Yeah, I already oh, know they're yeah, freezing. Yeah. And you can't step in a oh, puddle. Oh yeah, you know I did. Them some sleeves. Yeah, them some sleeves. <laughs> and, 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 then, and then if you stepped in the puddle, your whole foot is wet. Uh, it's not going. It's not going to even perform as a shoe. Right. That's. That, but you, as you were saying, that you were talking about stranger peril. Right. We are walking into the, uh, uh, the end, looking like we are, like right now. The brother had to. We had to put like three or four coats on the brother, three or four pants on the brother. Um, the whole the hoodies, the whole nine, and it took over an hour before he got the, the cold got to where he had to sit in the car for a moment to warm up. But his apparel was perfect for the time we're in. These people, their apparel now is, goddammit, hot country curls. Uh, you know, lobster. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, crab boy. Cra a crab boy. Okay, hey, pen sexualism. Right. Safety old Demi. All right, non-binary, binary. I just just sound like a goddamn computer code. 
I don't understand this shit. Modern day Christianity. But you know what I'm saying? And that's that's strange apparel. That's strange apparel. Jehovah's Witness. That's more strange apparel. Yep. Right? Being about this world and the money cause holes and holes of success, fortune, and fame. So now go ahead and go with that kind of apparel and think you're gonna be able to play a football game with, with, with some tennis shorts and a goddamn tank top and some flip flops. And you have a picture of um, Raphael. No, Perry, William Perry, the fridge. Oh. Come to sack your ass. Oh, okay. With no, with the helmet too, okay? All that, all that metal, all that, and you're not prepared. To, to Raphael the dog. To, uh, uh, he does the fighter? No, 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 I'm saying oh. Raphael the dog, the tennis player. Right, 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 right. right. Tackle back, right, uh, right, 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 what, what people are doing and the things that they believe, their perils, the strange apparel of scripture. Somebody get a, a scripture on it, it's been plenty on it about um, having strange apparel. All right? That if you, if when the Lord comes to see you and you're looking like, you know, you lean, you, uh, lean mean, you know what I'm saying? You look like you a uh, Hare Krishna. You look like you, uh, you know, one of them, uh, one of them stands, one of them onks, one of them um, Kemets. The Most High is going to just destroy you. You're not us. That nigga that was on the comic board scoffing on his page, and he was under that Egyptian horror stuff. There you go. There you go. That's a strange gardener. Right that's a strange gardener. That's why he said great grand rising anyway. He and the ancestors. Our ancestors are the responsible for bringing us over here in death. That's right. They say in Isaiah, should we seek to the uh, to the dead? Why not? We should rather seek to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Come on, when the Lord says prepare to yourself to the search of your fathers, that's about your ancestry and your history uh, and where we come from. And then if we did that, we'll find that we're all about the law, statutes, commandments of the Heavenly Father. All right? We don't go to our ancestors to worship some de dead motherfuckers who ain't living. That's right. The Lord said a dead, a, a, a dead, uh, a, a living li a dog is better than a dead lion. That's when right. we know a lion is better than a dog. That's right. But if, it, if the motherfucker dead, yeah. I would rather have a dog. Yeah. Come here, Mr. Big, sit your ass down. And that's an you know, uplifting right. scripture, you know, because sometimes we can be in a, uh, in a low estate, especially when we in this walk. But hey, a, a, a wounded dog is better than a dead lion, man. You know, I'd rather be wounded and still persevere to the end and to be in death. Good. This is uh, Matthew 22 and 8. It says, Then saith he to his servants, The wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good, and the wedding was furnished with guests. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw their man which had not on a wedding garment. And he said unto him, Friend, how comest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. It, it always reminds me of that movie White Chicks. At the end, where the, uh, uh, one of the Wayne brothers jumps, you know what I'm saying, and takes the bullet for uh, uh, Terry Crews. And Terry Crews is on the floor, you know what I'm saying? All like, ah, you know, and he, and he, uh, you know, he's playing the, uh, the homo, but the dude revealed that he was a man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But he wasn't mad that he was a man. He was mad that he wasn't white. He said, "Nigga, didn't you know this was an all-white party?" No, man. It reminds. I mean, it's. It's on the little wicked, you know what I'm saying? But it reminds me of that, you know what I'm saying? Because the, the, the elders talking about that garment. What what are you wearing in these days? What is your uh, behavior? What, what what are you looking forward to, man? That's it. You know, are you in the way of the Lord or are you in the ways of this world? Because in the ways of this world, when the Lord comes, he's going to see a strange garment on you. You're not going to be part of the wedding, man. And he's going to ask you, man, what? How you get here? Right. Throw this man out. That's it. He's not part of the party. That's it. You got to look like you're part of the party. Exactly. You know? Yep. I got one for you. Revelation okay. 16 and uh, 15. It says, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. He come like a what? It says, Behold, I come as a thief. Just how many thieves get Called right in the act compared to not. Yeah, nah, really. Most most of the time, a thief is a thief because he got away with the shit. Right. Now, have a thief been called red-handed? Yes. 
all right? But and we know a lot of thieves don't get caught, all right? The Lord said, I'm coming like a thief. Meaning, nigga, you ain't gonna know when I'm coming. That means life will still hold semblance. Even though, is there riots going on the earth right now somewhere? Yeah. Are there uh, fires? Yeah. yeah. Are there bombings? Yeah. Are there wars? Yeah. Are there all kinds of things the Lord says going to happen in the end? end? Yeah. yeah. See, since, since judgment isn't executed speedily, people's heart will be set with the witness. Because right now, that's so hell over that. I ain't right here. But once this, this touches everybody, everywhere, all right, that's when people will start getting. But it's going to be too late. That's it. Hey, somebody get uh, Isaiah 52 and 1. When he say he gonna catch your ass off guard, he's catching you the fuck off guard, nigga. That's it. Because when he comes, all right, again, you must have on these garments. It says, blessed, all right, is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments. Because the Bible tells us to put off the weak nature, which is the flesh, and leading to your own understanding, establishing your own righteousness, following the word of man you see that's why the scripture says your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of god you see if you stand in the uh, your faith stand in the wisdom of men then you walk in naked and that's a damn shame and then we're gonna see your shame right uh -huh. see but if you're walking in your strength then you're walking in the ways of your hard shot you got that yeah go ahead bro. you walk in his ways he will not catch you you will not get caught unaware. That's it. All right? You don't want to get caught unaware, man. Yep. All right? It's 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 better to know and see versus being caught blindsided. You get blindsided, bam, it's way worse, bro. And that's well, I was like, the, the, the thief, you didn't know that was coming. You know right. what I'm saying? Now, if you was at the window, all right, and here it is, you waiting for the thief. Get you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. Please come in. Right, right, right. Ah. So, so, I had the bat. I had right, the right. goddamn weapon. Right, right, right. So, but in this case, all right, no, we're desiring the thief to come. You know what I'm saying? We, we sit, it says, blessed is he that watches. So we're watching for him. We're watching the signs of the times and that the word of God come to his full fruition, which is our Lord and Savior coming and setting up the kingdom of heaven and putting up, well, first, putting the judgment by way of fire on this place, then setting up the kingdom of heaven. We're watching for that. We're desiring that. You see? Go ahead, brother. This is Isaiah 52 and 1. Awake, awake. Put on thy strength, see, Isaiah. Awake, awake. You see, that means some people will sleep. You know what I'm saying? See, but we got to awake, awake. It is high time to awake out of sleep because our salvation is nearer than you can think. So it says what now? Isaiah 52 and 1. Awake, awake. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For his blood, there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. See, and our strength is this word, man. The word of God in truth. You see, so it says, awake, awake, put on thy strength. All right? That's why it says, hey, uh, 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 rend your heart, but not your garments. You see? Rid your mind, all right, where all these devices of this world come from, all right, and put on your garments, which is this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and truth, man. All right, that's going to be the stability of thy time and the strength of your salvation, man. Because we see that all the mindsets of this world, all the strange apparel of this world, produce a living hell. That's right. With us at the bottom. See? So, hey, it is high time to awake out of sleep, all right? Get this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Have faith in it. Improve your faith by the way you think and by the way that you live, producing the fruits of righteousness, man, to the best of our ability, man. And then the only thing I do, do after that is patiently wait on That's it. We wait. That's right. See? Does anybody got any closing scripts? That was it? All right. So, Lord willing, that was edifying. Um, with that, we're going to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakadash, Shalom, and a Bible Ball. Bible Ball. Bible Ball.